Hi guys, it's time for another automatic 11.11 tutorial. This time we are going to use ControlNet. I will guide you through the installation process and show you the basic workflow when working with ControlNet. After you started up your automatic 11.11, you go to your extension tab and from there you click on available, load from. Uh, since I've already installed it, I have to uncheck this here and then I search control control net and you install this down here you click install it takes a short time then you go to installed you check for updates apply and restart after you restart you can go to text to image and down here should appear control net. When you click on this line, it should grow to this size. So before we can actually work with it, we have to download the model. You can download the model on the Hugging Face page. Don't worry, I will put the link in the video description so you can click it right from there. Well, what we need is open pose. So you click open pose, this 1.45 gigabyte file, and you also need this YAML file. It's, it's important that you get both. After the download is finished, you go in your Stable Diffusion Web UI folder, and there you go under Models, and there's the folder Control Net. So you put all four files in here, the YAML file and the PTH file. So back in Automatic 11, what we're going to do is what you saw in the thumbnail. We are going to recreate the Salt Chef meme from 2017, I think. So, but before we do, let's go over some of the basics. So then we go to the documentation. Again, I will put this link in the video description, don't worry. So what we're going to use is OpenPose. OpenPose is a model that has many different submodels, OpenPose body, hand, face, body. So and what it does, so you can put a picture in here and OpenPose detects the pose. It detects the joints, even the face and can guess the face expression a little. So you see with open pose you are able to create many similar images just from one movement. So here in this example they switched the girls with the boys. I invite you go to the site and look at the other models. They are great. This is image segmentation where you can mask out parts of an image and you can describe a prompt set for each of the colors. Unfortunately going to every one of these models would be just going out of scope. So if you have a question to a specific model on how to use it, feel free to ask and I will make a video about it. Uh, for now let's focus on open pose, shall we? So let's go back to stable diffusion. So while recording, it came to my attention that I have forgot to upgrade Control Net. Yeah, shame on me. Um, now I have the latest version and the advantage we get is this cool radio button style here. So with this we have presets. So we can just say open pose and you should load the preprocessor open pose full and the model open pose. If here says model none, then you have put your model in the wrong folder. Then your model is in the wrong folder. You can try to refresh with the refresh button, otherwise you have to look where your model went. So very important when you want to use a model, you have to enable it, of course. So low VRAM is for those of you who have older graphics card. Pixel perfect means the generated map will have the same resolution you put in here in your default resolution settings. Allow preview allows you to store and view a preview down here. And now you can pick between open pose full, open pose hand, face only, face and open pose. 
we stick to open pose full because we also we want the face the face position the direction in which she looks and everything this explosion button means you can run the preprocessor why is this useful and when what we do now is I load my post reference so don't worry I will put a link to my patreon page this is for free for everyone you don't have to sign up become a patron or anything you can download it there also the prompts we are going to use are there so you can just click the link and then copy and paste it what do these settings down here mean so control weight you already know this one um, this is how much of a weight this has. So when writing prompts, we also had this um, blue sky and then make it 1.5. So this is weight 1.5. So it's pretty much guaranteed that there will be a blue sky in the picture. The same you can do for control net weight because you can do more than the, just one model you can use you can combine models and um, so you can balance multiple weights starting control step and ending control step this is often misunderstood so this is very important starting control step means um, it, it's a percentage on when does this kick in so when it starts at zero that means the control net immediately starts to kick in and starts to work with control net if i set it to 0.5 for example that means for 50 percent of the image generation there is no control net this control net module will not be active until 50 percent of the image generation so but then it runs to the end what I can do is can do this so this would mean it starts at 50% and stops at 60 so but since uh, the whole image is the outcome of what we want we leave it as 1 and 0 because we want to go the full way here so pre-processor pre resolution since uh, I prefer to choose pixel perfect, we don't have to worry about this one. So control mode is, was previously called guess mode. Um, you have a balanced mode and you can especially say my prompt is more important or control net is more important. So yeah, resize mode is clear. We just leave it as is crop and resize. So until it fits. What I actually wanted to show you was the preprocessor. Yeah, we click on the explosion symbol and you see it's working down here. And we should see a stick figure kind of guy in just a moment. Yeah, you see, this is what the preprocessor did with the image. So he even recognized the fingers, the hand, the face the eyes, the eye position, the mouth, the whole face. You actually do not need images like this. You can download uh, stick figures like this and put them in here and it actually saves time for the preprocessor. Later in the video I will show you uh, good places where you can find them. So I made a quick cut and copied my generation data over. So like I said, go to my Patreon page and get it because you don't want to type this. I also cannot post this into my YouTube description. This is too long and too much with sampling method and everything. So I hope you understand. So and let's generate a batch of eight. Okay, so let's get over the prompts while this is rendering. What I've used here is a basic prompt I use on scenic shots that are photorealistic. I just added my favorite Witcher to the mix. This is not even a LoRa. If you do not know what a LoRa is and want to know how prompts work, 
I can recommend you to watch my last video where I explain the basics of prompting and how to use LoRa's. The model I'm using is Cyberrealistic 3.0. It's a quite good model for photorealistic shots. I use it a lot lately. Um, you should try it. I put the link down in the video description as well. Okay, these are our rendered images. Yeah, you know this one from the thumbnail. And um, actually this is a card. This happened on accident and I thought it was so funny. So I used it and uh, put a Gwent card in his hand. So yeah, not every hand movement is, is perfect, but you see the face fits and the general positioning of the body and everything fits perfect. So sometimes his arm is tilted, sometimes it is twisted. There are some things you could fix with in-painting. Yeah, this one is tilted too much to the front and it's the hand is the wrong way around. Here the hand is also wrong, but nothing in-paint won't fix. So, as you can see, with very little effort, we can get mind-blowing results. So, you can try out very different poses, download poses. Ah, I wanted to show you where you can get one. Wait a moment. So, one way to get poses is to post collections. You can get from civitai.com. Just go to civitai.com and search for poses. There are many, many pose collections um, like this one or group poses if you want to make group pictures. Another great way is at app.posemy.art where you can get a model and you can influence it by yourself. So, and after that you can export it and the exported image you can use in Stable Diffusion. So you can either make a screenshot, you can download it, you can download the open pose. There are pre-made scenes which are really, really cool. So there are many ways. Um, I did not list every way. There are a lot ways more where you can get poses. These are just two quick ways that I found I post both in links in the video description. So yeah, that sums up our little control net tutorial. What did you think? Or, uh, what what do you think? Was it helpful to you? Are you are you good informed? Um, is there anything that I can do better? Go more into detail? Were there enough details? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.